Hi, welcome to Sociology at Hills Road. Um, my name's Freya and I am one of the four sociology teachers here. I'm, I'm about to do a quick run through um, some of the key points of the sociology A-level. Um, and I hope that you, you find it interesting and it's something that you might want to come to Hills Road to study in the future. So why study sociology? Um, within sociology, we are trying to understand the society that we live in. And there are several things that as sociologists we are interested in doing. Firstly, we want to identify the patterns, the different um, inequalities within society. And so as sociologists, we're interested in looking at social research that aims to find out, well, what is actually going on in society? Why do some people seem to succeed within society when others struggle? So as sociologists, we want to identify what the problems within society are. Next, we want to understand, well, what are the causes for some of these inequalities and these certain patterns that we have identified within society? What are the causes? What are the reasons behind them? And obviously, there's going to be lots of disagreement about what the real causes and reasons behind these issues are. So as sociologists, we also want to analyse and look at the different answers to those questions. And as a sociologist yourself, you would be analysing which of those causes and reasons you um, think is the most accurate explanation of what's going on. Then as sociologists, we also want to look at solutions to some of these social issues, social inequalities, social patterns. So we are going to look at different sociological answers to these problems, different solutions. Involved in that is going to be looking at social policy put forward by politicians, historic and um, current social policies. And as sociologists, we want to see whether these have had the impact and the effect that they were meant to have. So again, as sociologists, we are doing more social research to see whether these social policies have actually addressed the issues that they are meant to address. Um, as sociologists, we're going to look at society-wide patterns to understand society, but also we're interested in looking at more micro situations and understanding the relationships between different groups of people. So as sociologists, we're looking at the whole picture, but then sometimes zooming in to get um, a kind of snapshot of what's going on on a smaller scale. It will therefore make you a much more socially conscientious person. Sociology aims to create a more sort of socially responsible group of people. It'll make you aware of what's going on in the society around you. It'll make you question things you've never questioned before and make you notice things that you might not have ever noticed before. Um, it is also an academic subject and therefore you will be developing lots of strong written skills. The ability to explain complex ideas, the ability to analyze and evaluate um, these different sociological ideas. So what does the specific sociology A-level cover? Now, there are six main units that we cover over um, the two years. In your first year, you will start by looking at education and the family. Education aims to look at, again, the different patterns within educational achievement. Why is it that some groups of people achieve better in education than others? We look at things like ethnicity, gender, class, to understand how do these things impact different students' achievement um, within education. Again, we're going to look at social policy and how that has influenced education um, historically and presently. Your second topic in the first year, the family, 
we're interested in what changes have happened to the family, specifically focusing um, on the UK. Traditionally in the UK, we would think that the nuclear family, which is your kind of traditional two parents, two children, we would think that that would be the most common family. But in recent years, we have seen much more diversity when it comes to family structures. Why is that? Why has the family changed? Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? What are the effects of this going to be on our society as a whole? Beliefs in society is a topic you will do in your second year. Um, this is looking at religious beliefs and trying to understand the impact that they have had on society. Um, can religious beliefs really influence society as a whole? Um, or actually are they losing their kind of influence and power within society? What do different sociologists think about religious beliefs? What are the aim um, of religious organizations? And what are the functions of uh, religion within society? In your second year, you'll also look at crime and deviance. So again, what are the patterns within society? Who is it that's more likely to commit a crime um, and why? What crimes are we in a society most interested in? Why do we see one thing as a crime, but something else as not a crime? Who is it that's made those decisions? You might also look at policing and the uh, legal justice system and think, um, how has that been created and what is its aim and what is its purpose? And is it fulfilling the purpose that it's supposed to? Methods and theory, um, you will do at the end of your first year leading into your second year and really methods and theory kind of cross over all the other subjects methods how do we as sociologists find out things about society what research methods do we use how do we go out into society and find the facts and figures the patterns the rules and laws that we might be trying to find and which methods are better than others finally theory Historically, there have been a range of different sociologists and obviously still writing today. How do different sociologists interpret the world, society, and how do they interpret these different trends that we are studying? OK, so what will you gain from a sociology A-level? Um, it's a subject that's highly regarded by universities. It gives you the skills needed to do any other essay subject. You develop strong written skills, strong analytical skills, the ability to evaluate different ideas, which is important to any essay based subject. You also will gain a more nuanced and empathetic understanding of our society and those living within it. You will just gain a better understanding of the society around you. So what is it like to study sociology at Hills Road? As a department, we like to think that we're super friendly and supportive. Um, we are sympathetic to all of the pressures that you will face as an A-level student. We are here to support you and we will try our hardest to get you through any challenges you might have um, over the next two years. We try to make sure our lessons are varied and fun, um, allowing lots of time for discussion and trying to embed some of the um, latest topics and issues that have been in the news into the topics that we teach. Um, most of the students that you will talk to will say that they feel supported at, within the sociology department at Hills Road and that they feel happy to come and talk to us um, and that we are here to support them with any issues that they might have. When it comes to assessment um, in sociology at Hills Road, you will have to complete six formal assessments each year. These will be done in time conditions and it's really important that we do that to ensure that you get the practice needed for that final exam. However, throughout the year, we will also um, be supporting you with in-class assessments, um, where we will guide you through the essay writing skills, we will support you, we will structure your writing, we're there to offer feedback. Um, so you will get lots of support, lots of practice when it comes to assessment. When it comes to student performance in sociology, 
at Hills Road. We are very proud of our results. If you look at the results, A star to B grade, we gain on average over the last three years, 82%. When you compare that to the national 51%, that is an amazing achievement. Our students do extremely well and we aim to support all of you to get into that top bracket if that is what you wish to achieve. And as you can see, our pass rate is 100%. So at Hills Road, we are really proud of our results and we obviously are here to support you to achieve this higher grade as possible. So where do our students from sociology go after sixth form? We can see here that 89% of them go straight into higher education. And just because you study sociology doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to go on to study sociology at university, but it is a good subject that gives you the chance to move on to different subjects. Courses taken by our students at university, obviously some go on to sociology, other forms of social sciences, social anthropology, politics and sociology, social policy, sociology and international relations, law, government policy and society, criminology, nursing, occupational therapy. Sociology is a subject that really can help you move on to any other subject. It gives you that understanding of society that's needed in a range of different subjects and a range of different professions. So taking sociology gives you a good foundation for understanding of society, which is going to help you in any career or university course that you might go on to. So thank you for watching this presentation. I hope that it's answered some of the questions that you might have had about sociology A-level. Thanks.